sampling in quantitative and qualitative research. Just a review the differences between qualitative research and quantitative research. Normally, qualitative research focuses on exploring ideas and formulating a theory or hypothesis, while the purpose of quantitative research normally it focuses on testing theories and hypotheses. The data in qualitative research is analyzed by summarizing, categorizing, and interpreting. In other words, in qualitative research, the data is analyzed descriptively, while in quantitative research, the data is analyzed through math and statistical analysis. Therefore, in qualitative research, the research results or the conclusion is mainly expressed in words. While for quantitative research, the research result is mainly expressed in numbers, graphs, and tables. Dealing with how a sample is chosen in qualitative research is not predetermined, while that is in the opposite. In quantitative research, the population and sample must be predetermined first and now we are going to cover what are the differences of taking or choosing the sample in both qualitative and quantitative research firstly sampling in quantitative research in quantitative research a sample is selected in such a way that it is unbiased and represents the population Unbiased and represents the population means, for example, the number of the population is 500 people. Then the researcher takes only 50 from them. Then the term unbiased means the 500 people has equal chance to be 50. It means each individual in the 500 people or in the population must have equal chance to be taken or to be included in the 50 or in the sample while represents the population means even in this case the sample chosen is only 50 but it must represent the population or the 500 people that is the meaning of unbiased and represents the population. Now, how the 500 people has equal chance to be 50? And how 50 represents 500? Therefore, this must be done by randomization. Randomization means it is used to avoid bias in the selection of a sample and is selected in such a way that it represents the study population. In addition, randomization is done so that all the members of the population has equal chance to be selected as the sample. Talking about randomization, I have specific videos dealing with this, especially when we discuss about probability sampling methods or techniques. Now we continue. The purpose of sampling in quantitative research is to draw inferences about the group from which you have selected the sample. Draw inferences means, as the example 50 represents 500 normally. In quantitative research, the sample represents the population, so that is the other words for draw 
the inferences. The position of a researcher in choosing the sample relating to quantitative research, then the researcher must be objective in choosing the sample. Objective means the researcher has no involvement of how the sample be included from the population. For example, if you are the researcher in quantitative research, you are guided by predetermined sample size. Predetermined sample size means the number of the sample must be determined first before the data is obtained in the research. Now we continue to part B, sampling in qualitative research. Just in the opposite of quantitative research, in qualitative research, the number of sample chosen from a population is not predetermined by the researcher. Is not predetermined by the researcher means the number of the sample in fact is determined by point of data saturation. Data saturation again means the researcher stops to obtain the data or to get the data from the sample when there is no new information. In other words, the data is negligible. Or, in other words, I can say that data saturation means when the researcher thinks that the research question is already solved. The purpose of qualitative research is to gain in-depth knowledge about situation, event, episode, or phenomenon. Therefore, in choosing the sample, the researcher is subjective. Subject subjective means, for example, the number of the population in qualitative research is identified. In other words, it is unknown. Then, the number of the sample chosen from the population is also undetermined. That is, data saturation. In other words, once again, in qualitative research, in choosing or in having the number of the sample, the researcher stopped collecting the data when the data is in saturation. It means no need to get more information. In other words, the research question is solved. Okay, now let's come to conclusion or summary the differences between sampling in both quantitative and qualitative research. The first point is dealing with sample size. In quantitative research, the sample is predetermined by the researcher. So, the population and sample are identified first before the data is obtained by a researcher. While, in qualitative research, it is in the opposite. It means, it is not predetermined by the researcher. While, in fact, the number of the sample is based on data saturation. Therefore, the population and sample are identified. Are unidentified, I mean. Then, in relation to the researcher's position, in quantitative research, the researcher must be free from bias. In other words, it must be objective. Why? It is very different if it is about qualitative research. This is subjective. It means the way the sample is chosen 
is based on the researcher's opinion. Therefore, normally this is called biased. The strategies used in choosing the sample in quantitative research it is done by random by probability and sometimes by non probability while for qualitative research it can only be done by non probability methods or strategies in relation to this we will discuss this in my specific videos dealing with probability and non probability sampling methods or strategies the purpose of sampling in quantitative research is for generalization or drawing inference it means the sample represents the population while for qualitative research it is not for generalization in fact the purpose of qualitative research is for exploration or to gain depth understanding of a topic phenomenon and so forth well that is our discussion dealing with sampling in both qualitative and quantitative research. Now you may continue to learn how the sample is chosen by probability and non-probability sampling techniques or methods. Thank you for watching.